Exercise 3.7. In this exercise, we look at a country A, and we know the force of mortality in country A is related to the one in U.S. In the first five years, the probability of dying within one year is related to the one from U.S. using this equation, and after first five years, we know the force of mortality in country A. Is fifty percent greater than the one from U.S. and this table is the life table from U.S. Based on those information, what we want to calculate in this exercise is the probability that an employee in country A at age thirty will survive to age forty. Expressing this using our probability notation, what we want is the probability. That a life which is age thirty and is just selected will survive another ten years to reach age forty, and this is in country A. Now, since we have different relationship in the first five years and the years afterwards, it is very natural to use the multiplication rule. So we can decompose the probability in ten years into the Probability of first five years, and after five years, this person become age thirty five and survive another five years. Now we are going to look at those two probabilities one by one. So this first probability, we can again use the multiplication rule because here what we have is probability of dying within one year. So This is probability of age thirty survive one year, and after one year become age thirty one survive another year, and so on. Now for each of the term here, for the first term, it can be plug in this formula with t equals to zero. So it is. One subtract when t equals to zero is six times q thirty, and this is the probability of dying within one year, based on U.S. population. And similarly, for the second term, we can use t equals to one, so it's one subtract five q thirty one. And here are the other terms. Now. For each of the terms here, we can calculate them using the U.S. life table. For example, Q thirty is L thirty, L thirty subtract L thirty one. The numerator is the number of people who died within age thirty and thirty one. Q thirty one is Denominator L thirty one, numerator L thirty one, subtract L thirty two. Okay, and each of the L numbers can be found in the table. And in the end, for this first term, we have point nine eight five nine nine. Okay, so now we have this first part. Now we're going to look at the second probability, and remember, after five years. The force of mortality in country A is fifty percent greater than U.S. To calculate this probability of surviving based on force of mortality, remember we have results from last week, so it is from this formula. From zero to five five years, mu thirty five. Plus t dt, and we denote by country A. And we know that this force of mortality is fifty percent greater than the one of U.S. So it's one point five times mu thirty five plus t. If we denote this one as the one of U.S., so this probability. Zero to five, one point five, 
W35 plus T dt. Now we can take out this constant, and in the end, what we have is exponential. And the whole thing to the power of 1.5. And the term inside the parentheses is exactly the probability of surviving five years in US. So it's 35, 5 to the power of 1.5. And this probability can be calculated using the table. It is L40 over L35 to the power of 1.5, and this is 0.99139. In the end, we just take the products of the two probabilities we just calculated, and our final answer is 0.977497.